Hello, my name is Holly Flink. Um, first of all, I'm going to apologize for the very, very terrible setup we're in. i to move my hand to block that light. Um, I'm not really in Arizona right now, so it's kind of hard to record this. Um, because I didn't know that we needed a, uh, a tutorial video. Okay, so, this is Mario Maker. The last time I did a tutorial video, um, they updated it. So, let's go ahead and go into stuff. So, in order to... It'll just load up and it'll say make or play and then you play or you can go into load over here on the side and just like click one of these empty spaces and it'll take you to a new screen. Over here on the left, because this is kind of the first thing you want to start with, you want your game styles. They have the original, then there's Mario 3, Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros Wii U Edition, and then the Super Mario World 3D. 3D World, whatever. Um... I'm gonna go with this one because it's cute. <laughs> I like the style. I gotta, like, eh. I'm sorry, this is a really bad setup. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna pick your theme. You know, do you wanna go with ground, underground, water, desert, snow, castle, airship, ghost house, forest, or sky? Um, I'm gonna go with sky for now. Yeah, okay, and it's gonna change your theme. So then you want to yeah this is more of a vertical type thing but if you wanted to you can make it an auto scroll um and then you can change your your timer and then this is cool so you can have clear conditions which kind of make the game a little bit more easier so i can't go into any other thing because i don't have you can have um actions that mario has to like um, take or you can have it like kill this many Goombas or collect this many coins um, and whatnot so there are cool little things like that um, Mario's trail just kind of lets you see where he's gonna go it, it's I don't really use it so I'm not entirely sure and the Mario Maker 2 allows you to co-op build which is cool um, so there's that so that's on the left side that's kind of the most important side you want to start with so now we can head up top here um and kind of go through the oops i'm sorry i just hit a a thing that i can talk about um so over here on the right you have your race tool which allows you to just kind of erase whatever you've done and you have b which is your undo so when you hold it, it'll undo what you've done if you mess it up. And then you, I think the rocket is, yeah, resets the whole thing. Um, so let's go ahead and to get up there, it's just up in, um, up in Y. And we can go through all the stuff. So terrain is your first thing. Whoa. semi cell is cool. So your terrain will match whatever theme you picked. Um, so, like, this is the ground, right? That was really cool, and I didn't know it did that. Um. I didn't know that was gonna be a thing in the sky, sorry. Uh, you got your slopes. No, I didn't, uh. Like, so... And then you have like a gentle slope. Like so. So there's all that type of terrain. You have your pipes, which of course, your pipes can do multiple things. Um, these are the different speeds. So if you want it like really, really fast, you go with red. If you want it really slow, you go with blue. If you want it like semi fast, you go with um, yellow if you want it to just be normally go with green and then the last bit on the right is what takes you to a different page so I'm gonna put that up there for now because we'll talk about it I'm sorry I'm moving it was a bad setup my neck hurts I'm in a really weird position <laughs> okay so the name of your spikes spikes are usually meant to in this they keep you from going a certain direction it's like well I don't want to go that way or you can use them as terrain if you're on Yoshi um, the, these are these, um, every level will have one. They are basically just little platforms. Um, in this one, it's the mushroom. Oops. 
Um, and they have different colors, depending on what you want. And it's all just, it's all just design choices. Um, the semi solids will change depending on the area you're in. And, and there we go. You can make them as big as you want and as wide as you want. And I think, yeah, you can change their look. Oh, you can do a rainbow. That's cool. So, um, you can jump through them or on top of them like this. Like, yes. Like that. Um, also the, the, the minus button here is your, on the, on the left here, this one. That's how you play to test things. Okay. And then you have, um, a bridge. The bridges change depending on what Mario you're using, as well as, like, what theme you're using. Like, what world you're using. So, there's bridges. Okay, so that's all terrain. Terrain's pretty simple. Um, and most of the terrain... Let's go, like, up here. Yeah. As you just saw, most the terrain will handle design features on its own. Like that. And like that. So, um, you don't really have to worry about set designing, because Mario Maker kind of already does it for you. Um, you'll have your little hit block here. In Mario, if you hit, if you hit it. Yeah, it does a little spin, you can get through it. Um, you have your question block, which of course drops an item. Um, ice block, which just makes it slippery. A cloud block, which is just, I'm pretty sure a cloud block is just another block to stand on. Same with hard block. Um, you have your hidden block, your donut block, which if you stand on it, will indeed, um, fall if you stay on it for too long. And then you have your little note block, which bounces you. If you hold it longer, he'll jump higher. So that's all of um, the rest of the terrain. So the terrain has two pages. Now we can go into items. We've got our coins, our 10 coin. Um, our pink coin, which the pink coin will basically allow you to... Um, the pink coin will basically allow you to collect a key in multiple levels. Like if it, it basically builds a key. So depending on how many you place, right? So let's just go boop. We'll just place a few here. If you play, if you look in the top right corner over here. Now it's like, that's how many coins you have to get. So there's one. I fell. <laughs> you get the idea. But as you collect them all, um, it'll collect a, it'll put together a key for you. Then of course you have your super mushroom, which is just, we'll just go ahead and put you in there. Like that, that's how you put items in there. If you want to get the item back out to change it, you just hold it. And, and then click on it, and then you can get it back out. So you just place it in the scene first, and you drag it into your question block. Um, you have the fire flower, which is basic. The star, which is basic. Um, the cape feather allows you to be kind of like the Super Mario. Right, let's see. Uh, yeah. He lets you fall slowly, and he also does like a little, a little spin. So that's what the the feather does. That's new. They just added that. This is also really new. Um, this is the newest thing in the items. Uh, it's a little balloon that makes you this weird farting balloon, Mario. And now we have a key. Oh no, I lost it. That's unfortunate. I didn't even know that that could happen. Um, he basically just allows you to fly. <laughs> um, 
Which you could make some sort of cool, like, over here, uh, cool thing like this, um, where you have to fly through spikes. Um, but beyond that, I don't like to use it because it's it's basically cheating. Like, you can just fly through the whole level. And then if you're one up and you have your Yoshi. For enemies, we have a lot of. Um, we have our basic Galoomba, which is the version of Goombas in this um, Mario theme. You have your Koopas, your Buzzy Beetles. Also, if you click, if you place them and then hold on them, you can change them to whatever the heck that is. You can make them giant. You can put feathers on them, and you can put this little um, tiny parachute so that they can float down from the sky, and the uh, wings will help them jump little bit higher and and whatnot so you can do that with all of them with the koopas i think it's you can change them into a red koopa and then of course do all the same things the buzzy beetle you can just make him be the shell if you um a lot of people use this um for like in levels they use it to do puzzles like you have to take um put the helmet on to break through blocks or um have it come out of a pipe and you have to lead it to like a button so that you can get through um you have your spike tops which i think do the same thing oh they have blue ones in this one um it's different per mario like i said um then you have your spine which you could also put this on mario's head any well, basically, break blocks like that. So, there's that. You have your bloops, which if you hold them, you can get these these little, like, see the string? When he floats around, those, those little strings will follow him, and if they hit you, they also damage you. Um, and then, of course, you can make them giant and all that stuff I talked about. And then you have your cheap cheeps. With, with your cheap cheeps, you can change some colors. You can change them to red or green cheap cheeps. And of course, you can do the uh, making them bigger and stuff. Uh, the jumping piranha plants change. You can have them jump or you can have them sit fireballs. Um, you got your munchers, which I don't think change if you do anything to them. Yeah, they just, you add, they, they're used a lot for Yoshi's. You have your thwomps, which of course you can make bigger. And as we saw here, sorry, you have the arrow, and the arrow, if you click him, just instead of holding A, if you just press A, you can change the direction in which the thwomp goes. Um, a lot of things beyond him have that ability. You have your Monty Mole, which also has different things. Um, your Rocky Branch, I didn't even know that was ever called. So you also have this guy, which you can take him off the leash, or you can put him on the leash. It doesn't matter. You also have your hammer bro. With your hammer bro, you can make him a Largo and he'll turn into that ugly monstrosity. Um, you have your Wiggler, which you can change from OK Wiggler to Mad Wiggler and make him giant and stuff. Um, you have your boos, which you can make into, yeah, the, the little spiral boo thing, that thing, if you want. And then you have your, your lava bubbles, which are more used for the lava levels than for anything else. Your bombs, which with bombs, you can have them be regular bombs or already, like, timed bombs. Um, you got dry bones, you got fish bones, and you got your magic koopa and your, and your um, pokies, which will change depending on the uh, environment you're in. Um, okay, so you have your... You got your ma major enemies. You got Bowser. You got Baby Bowser. You got Boom. This is new. This little Mecha Koopa thing. I don't know what it does. I'm pretty sure it's just a robot that'll explode after a while. Oh, or maybe not. Um, They don't really do much. You have your Angry Sun and Lakitu. This is all new. So they added more of the Koopa Kids. You can play with Larry or Iggy or Wendy, Lemmy. You have all the Koopa Kids to put in as bosses instead of just Bowser and Baby Bowser. So you can really build like a full world experience because a lot of like the worlds in Mario, they end with you fighting one of the Koopa Kids like these guys. So they just added these, which are really cool. And with the enemies, 
I'll put in Lemmy because he's my favorite. My favorite Koopa kid. You can make them giant, you can make them have wings, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, of course, you can also put them in, inside of the Koopa clown car, and you yourself can get it in. So, you can build stuff on that. You get your burners with burners. With burners, um, if you hold A, you can turn them off, right? And then we can turn them on. See how it's off? And then when that burner goes off, that won't go on. So you can have them rotate. You can have them alternate. And then if you if you just click A on them, you can change the direction in which they face. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Go back up here. You got your bill blaster, which you can make um, tracking bills or just regular bills that shoot. The tracking bills will follow you wherever you go. You have your your bonsai bill, which is just this gigantic bill, and you can have them go multiple ways and whatnot. I don't use them because they're kind of hard to look at. You got your cannonballs, which are just they you can't hold a you can just click a and it'll just change the direction they go. Um, you have your icicles, which will drop in your head. You can have them be non-dropping icicles like this, or you can have them be dropping icicles. It just depends if you hold a. Then you have your twister, which will just make you fly upwards. So there's that. These are gizmos. Um, then you have your door and key. So you can take the door, you can place it out here. You can either make it a POW door, so you need a POW block to open the door or have the door appear. Or you can make it a locked door and you have to get the key to um, open it and it'll give you doors. The thing about doors is that they have a very limited capacity. So you can only put in a certain amount of them before they don't. And then you have your P-block with your P-switch and your POW block. You have trampolines, vines, vines which you can put in the question blocks, arrow signs which I show you, and then your checkpoint flag. Over here you've got this little lift that once you step on it, it'll just kind of take you along on um, a track, which is this right here. Um, you have a lift which just brings you up and down. You have a claw that I used a lot in my um yeah see i'll be like mm. um i use that a lot in my airship level and then you have these little crusher doodads which if you just tap them you can change the direction they go and then you have these little bounce these bounce pads they bounce you when you touch them um, and you have saws, little grinders, whatever, they're saws, and seesaws, and all that kind of stuff, the saws, you can even put, um, all of that on a track, and the track basically is you select it, and then you move it in that direction you want it to go, like that, here, we'll put a saw on it, make it scary, there we go. And once you put it on the track, you can decide which um, direction you want it to go. So if you want it to go that way first or that way first, it doesn't matter. Um, then you have your conveyor belt, which is you just place it. And then if you hold it on the side, you can make it longer. If you hold this, you can make it double fast. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what this does. This is only a Super Mario World thing. Some of them are very different. I'll try to show you after after this, since we kind of got into depth about them. I can show you what they look like in the other worlds. The one-way walls are cool. They allow you to only go one way. This little thing blocks you, and then you just click to turn them. And then you have your fire your fire bars, which oops, you can um, click here, and it'll change the direction they spin. And if you hold this, you can, like, ultra extend it and you have your snake block which you just place in the scene like this and you grab this little square and you move it to go where you want the snake to go um and then you have your dotted line block which we shall bring back here onto our like this platform and you're on switch like so and just turn it on and off you can also have it be like, if you hold this, you can have it already be off. So when you alternate it, it changes like that. Um, so that's pretty much all of the little doodads and whatnot.
Um, so let's go ahead. Oh, actually, we should talk about down here. So the way this works is you can move. There's the end. You can move the ground. Do not want to do this yet? Sorry. Um, let's go back. You can move. And you can you can hold that and move it or as you see down here you can just click that to move it also this you can move it up or down depending on where you want same the beginning is the same way you can't move the beginning from side to side i don't think yes but you can move it up and down like that um and then, as you saw, um, you can either do it with a pipe. So if we go, if I hold this and then go down like that, it'll put Mario through the pipe. And then if you place the pipe, you'll be in your second little um, bar, which this, you can make it, yeah, go ahead, that's fine. Um, you can make it vertical or horizontal, depending on what you want. Um, you can only work with two scenes, so you kind of have to, um, so this will make, like, the world bigger. Like, let's put it all the way at the top. Just because it gives you more space. Same with moving, you kind of want to move the end all the way back because it's just super long. Um, let's go into a different style. Let's go into this. Yep. Gosh, I'm in so much pain. Okay, so this is the newest style. Let's change it to forest. Ooh. Whoa, you changed things on me. Weird. Didn't know you could do that. Wasn't something I thought you could do. Okay, so with this type of world, you also have water levels. Same with the lava levels, so you can kind of move the water where you want it to be. Um, with lava, you can decide whether or not the lava goes up and back down. So if we go into here, they kind of have some different stuff. They have these clear pipes, which, um, yeah, they allow you to... No, oh, I want to go in it. Thanks, Mario. It's like, ooh. So they allow you to kind of travel. That's like an exclusive thing to that world. Um, they all have different things that they newly added. So they, they just added this boomerang flower, which allows you to throw um, a boomerang. Um, this is the Super Bell, which turns you into a cat. In this world, they added these cool things. So, this will shoot a cannon. This will, like, fly you upwards. I think the Goomba mask... If I, if I do remember correctly... It kind of just makes you a Goomba, so the Goombas will leave you alone. Um, you have your Bullet Bill mask, which I think just allows you to be a Bullet Bill... Oh, wow. Yeah. If you jump and hold A, we can make it all the way to the end. Oh, no. Like so. Um, kind of cool. But they added these new masks. It's um, newest in their update. Um, and then the red pow. I think this just acts like a pow block. Weird. But, yeah, they added those new masks. And then they have different enemies, like this ant trooper's exclusive thing. Same with, uh, well, it's not too exclusive, but they have spike creatures, which throw spikes. Speaking of which, I didn't do that. I don't think that was in... I don't think that was in... Um, you can either have him be just the guy that throws the spike, or just be the spike itself. Um, 
I forgot to go. I thought I forgot to say that. You have these things which basically turn into trampolines. These guys are, are new for, for Mario. They have a pad that they take too, but they will hurt you. Yeah, see. He's like he'll go out and come back in. Um and they have these bumblebees and rat things that are just enemies. The, the, the bees will come for you and the rats will just kind of chill there. Um, and then they have Meowser. Yeah, this is a thing. Um, this is specific to the to the newest Mario Maker 2. Is you get this little car contraption. You can kill the Koopa inside and take the car. And make like a Mario a, a, a Mario Kart level. You have your Porky Puffer, which is just a giant uh, cheap cheap with spikes. And then your bully and your um, caravel, which is more for the lava levels. The bully doesn't hurt you. What he will do is you, yeah, you bounce off him. So he, he, he'll push you into things. Um, so you have to be careful for that. Ooh, a tree. That's new. This is a very exclusive, yeah, I forgot about the tree. It's a very, um... Exclusive 3D, Mario 3D, usually it's the cat bell trees. Um, you have your, everything else is pretty much similar. This is different. Um, you still have your dotted line block. Um, but you also have the spikes blocks that will also turn on and off with the switch. You also have these blinking blocks that if you place them, like we'll place it up here. Um... Yeah. They basically do the same as donut blocks. Um, and you have dash blocks in this, which like you dash, which is cool. Um, they have cloud lift. And then they have these on and off trampolines, which um, depending on like where like the switches, you can make it either a solid, a solid trampoline or a bouncy trampoline. Um, that's the only kind of different thing in here they all have different things so it's just a matter of exploring um and then once you're all done you come over here to the robot and you hit save so that's the whole how to kind of use mario maker it's really simple um the thing that i still would suggest as i did in my last tutorial video about how to use mario maker is that i would still look for tutorials and how to do some of the things that they do because there's a lot of things that people do with their levels or that people like the game does with their stuff that like i don't know how they do that because i'm not able to do that um so yeah i would just suggest this kind of just helps you understand like how everything works and how to place things and whatnot um, and of course, Mario Maker itself has this little pigeon dojo guy, which will teach you a level design, but not really use how, really teach you how to use the actual, like, will teach you how to use the actual engine, which I think is stupid, but, um, yeah, that's, that's all, that's it, that's the whole Mario Maker, how you use it, everything special. You have to explore all the other worlds because they all have different enemies and things that you can use within your within the level. So it's just a matter of which style you want to go with and then playing with it. So that's, that's Mario Maker. Bye.